Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bakisha, AKA A Relatable Mama. Um, <clears throat> if you have not watched my previous video, I think that you should go back and watch that first and then come back to this one. But just a quick update, um, after getting those positive tests on 9DPO, at 10DPO, I did receive uh, two negative tests. This is exactly why my heart is so guarded every time I do take a test. Um, it makes me so thankful that I decided not to share this, the test results with anyone because I'm just, I'm baffled. It, 9DPO's test was not a faint positive. It was a dark positive, so I'm just really, really confused right now. Um, I know with my experience with miscarriages is when I had them, it didn't go from a positive to a complete negative the next day. It gradually got lighter. Um, so I don't know what's going on, but you know, if this is indeed another miscarriage, it's something that I would like to process myself. And then once I've processed, then I would like to share with family and friends, close friends, and that includes my husband. I know we're married, but at the end of the day, this is my body and I am the one going through it. And this is just how I would like to process things if that is what's happening. Um, like I said, I don't know. I'm just really confused. So I'll be taking more tests as the days go on and I'll keep you guys updated. So. Good morning and welcome back. It's really, really early in the morning. Um, it's like 8 a.m. I just pulled up to my OB office, which feels so crazy to be doing. I am getting my HCG labs, the first um, of two tests done today. I'll come back in on Wednesday, and that way by the end of the week, I will know if this pregnancy is developing the way that it should be. If you are not caught up, I suggest you go back and watch my previous video but just to summarize it i took a test at atpo completely expecting it to be negative i thought i saw a shadow of a line so i took another test at 9 dpo and it came back blazing positive i was so shocked i i don't even think i said much in that video afterwards it was just I was shocked. Well, off camera at 10 DPO, I took another test and it was stark negative. And this was using um, Easy at Home, which I've used in the past and it's always been a clutch strip test for me. They are also pre-mom, it's the same company. So always been clutch for me. If you watched any of my past videos, I've always always talked very highly about this brand and I still do I just don't know what happened so I was really bummed out thinking I was going through another miscarriage because I'll, I'll put a picture I'll insert a photo of a 90 po test that was no faint line that was a blazing positive so what I was confused about was whenever you have a miscarriage it's not normal for you to go from having a very dark line, positive line, to absolutely nothing the next day. The line usually gradually gets lighter from what I've experienced in the past. So, I mean, it was negative. And I took tests all that day, in fact, and they were all negative. So I was really bummed out. 11 DPO, took another test and there was a line very very faint um a darker on first response and i've just been taking tests since then they do they are gradually getting darker but i'm just my heart won't let things sink in and i can't even wrap my head around this pregnancy because of what happened in the beginning and i'm just super afraid that things aren't developing the way that they should be so just made an appointment with my OB so that I can get some concrete numbers 
and find out if they're doubling the way that they're supposed to, even though my tests are getting darker. I'm also going to take a digital today. Today is my first day of missing my period. So, I mean, everything, it, even though everything seems like it's lining up and I should feel comfortable getting excited and get ready to um, surprise Brandon with this news. I, my heart just won't let me. My heart is still guarded and miscarriage does that to you. And yeah, I don't know. So um, I'm gonna go in here and take this test. Thank you.